So we're here today in the southeast portion of Alaska, which is that portion of Alaska which comes down right next to northwest, the uh, northwest corner of British Columbia. Uh, the closest city to where we are right here would be Skagway, Alaska. In terms of the ecoregions, this would be basically equivalent to the, uh, the northern coastal ecoregion of Canada, which is a, 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 humid, a humid coastal forest. Um, in terms of the, the overall climate here, we're looking at a much more humid climate than pretty much anywhere else that we've uh, looked at so far in this course. The precipitation here in the driest areas would still receive probably at, at least 500 millimeters of precipitation a year, but for, throughout much of this region it would be more on the order of 1500 to say 3000 millimeters of precipitation per year, so much more humid, uh, humid climate overall. In terms of the temperature, uh, it's a little bit milder than, uh, than we would find it for the most part at this latitude. The closest city within Canada here would be, uh, would, would be Whitehorse, so we're, we're just a couple hours outside of Whitehorse, so we're quite far north. But the climate here, because we are closer to the coast, would be more on the order of uh, uh, summer, summer average temperatures around plus 10 and winter averages te average temperatures around minus 10. So with that cool, moist climate, uh, the overall vegetation where we are uh, is basically dominated by a, a different mix of, of tree species than what we've seen elsewhere. Right in this, in this stand where we are right now, or there's, you can see behind me there's some Sitka spruce, a Sitka spruce here. There's a birch stand just behind me to the, to the other side. Uh, there's a number of ferns right around, uh, some high bush cranberry, and a bit of uh, equisetum over here. So in terms of the, uh, of the parent material, that we're really close to, uh, to the Taya River, which would be uh, the river which is very, really close to the, the, the trailhead of the Chilkoot Trail. And so the, the Taya River runs, nearby, runs through this valley, and so we're actually on an alluvial terrace or a, a, bit, a fluvial deposit related to the Taya River. And in terms of how we can tell that, basically, it's a, it, we're in a bit of a broad, flat valley relative to the, the, the steeper mountains on either side. And when we start looking at the soil pitch, you'll see that in terms of the characteristics of the, of the, the parent material here, it's quite sandy overall, fairly well sorted, and um, quite characteristic in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, a fluvial deposit.